uh, I think I'd be remiss. Uh, you know, the pink out is really important to us, and it's coming up here in six weeks or so. But there, there's nobody in our game that has done more for coaches versus cancer than Lon Kruger. And uh, if there's a finer gentleman in the game, I, I haven't met him. Uh, I've just got uh, unbelievable respect uh, for how selfless he is and all the hard work that he puts in to try to help other people. It's really, uh, it's really incredible, and I'm, I'm, I'm proud to, to call him a friend. Uh, really good win for us. Uh, it was not a typical type of game uh, that we usually are successful in. We don't want a game with a lot of fouls and a lot of stoppage. Uh, but uh, I thought we uh, defensively, especially that last seven or eight minutes, I thought Sharif and Christian really gave us a lift uh, with their effort because we had some guys out there logging uh, some pretty big minutes. But uh, you know, we, we forced some guys into shots that we wanted to shoot, uh, and we were able to limit. Uh, you know, while Reeves got 23 points, it took 16 shots to get it. Uh, so uh, just a, a really good win, a lot of contributions from across the board. Some of them don't show up in the stat sheet um, in numbers, but uh, you know the things that Christian and Sharif did with their hustle was, was pretty incredible. Questions for the student athletes first. <clears throat> Yeah, I mean, that was huge for us. I mean, I thought we really, you know, focused on that in practice. You know, not only him on defense, but him on offense. I thought our guys who guarded him, Damian, you know, Ty, Mitch, they all did a phenomenal job of keeping him off the three-point line. And that, uh, and it made him work on offense, and then he had to go back on defense, and they also made him work. So, you know, just credit to those three guys, you know, really making him work. And, I mean, he's a phenomenal player as well, so. Yeah, I mean, like Coach said, it's not a typical game we, we win, but, you know, that's okay. You know, I mean, I, I feel like that's a good thing in some sense. I mean, that means we can win <coughs> in multiple ways. You know, yeah, obviously they, uh, they, you know, they kind of, you know, made it tough for us on offense, but, you know, obviously we did enough for it to win, and that's all that matters. Yeah, um, well, throughout the period of the game, I just try to grab as many rebounds as I possibly can. And so, like, that first play of the game, I was boxing him out. I got a foul out of it. I was just going for a rebound. So you just got to go hard. And when you're, when you're able to go hard um, for longer periods of time, it's just when it comes down to crunch time and you can squeeze out a couple, just one or two extra possessions when it's a grinded out game, it helps your team out a lot. Yeah, usually when I foul, coach takes me out. So uh, <laughs> that's all right, though. But uh, <laughs> when I come back in, you just got to um, 100%. That's because I don't want to play. <laughs> <laughs> is, it, is it tough for you to play the uh, ratchet it up as much as you feel like you need to, given what you're giving up at that position um, from a physical standpoint, while also understanding that some of those plays are going to get you in foul trouble just because of the nature of the game that you play in? Yeah. Well, uh, knowing that I'm smaller than some of the guys that I have to guard, uh, I have to give 110% every single play. And so um, being able to do that longer than your opponent can helps your team a lot. <coughs> Ruckus, is it, um, is it spoken in, in the huddle about kind of making the, the hustle plays? I mean, you were in there fighting for loose balls and, and got a couple rebounds. Is that something that you guys talk about, or is it, is it uh, I mean, it just has to be us. I mean, if we want to go where, where we want to go, you know, that's that has to be the blueprint of how we're going to play. We got to be tough. You know, that coach really, you know, really focuses on that in practice is, you know, we're not the biggest team. We're not the strongest team, but we can be the toughest team. And um, I think tonight was, I think we showed that at, at, at parts of the game. Two more for the student athletes. How'd you guys like having Denzel on the court with you finally for the winning count? Oh, man, it's, it's awesome. You know, it's it's so awesome. I'm so happy for him. You know, he's 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 so happy. It's just great to have him. He brings such a different presence to the floor on both ends of the floor. And 
You know, he can shoot. He can. He's he's strong. He can guard multiple positions. You know, he can make plays for himself and others. So, you know, I'm really excited. He's really excited. You know, the, I feel like all of Crane. You know, when he summed in, he, the whole place lit up. So, you know, that just shows. You know, he means so much to this team. Yeah, exactly. I was just trying to help him out a little bit, you know. Um, <laughs> that wasn't his facial expression. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> no, but uh, having Denzel in the game is great. Um, he brings a lot to the table. Like Mark was saying, he's physically strong, shoots the ball well. He's, he's a great player and a great teammate to have on your team. And it's just an honor to play with him, honestly. He's a great guy. Oh, yeah. Um, we practice diving on the floor for the basketball. So, And if you don't dive on that thing, you're running. So it's, I'm ready to go. Yeah. <laughs> Whenever that thing's on the ground, you always got to grab it. Thanks, guys. Yep. Good job. <laughs> Good job. We made a few mistakes early. Uh, you know, Manic got his first one, and then we, you know, we didn't get to front the post, and I think he slid behind us. He had seven of their first twelve, and then, uh, then, then they got stuck on twelve for a while. I thought we cleaned some things up with him, and Doolittle is just a hard matchup, and it was really the reason. You know, our, my plan going into this game, you know, Kelvin's not totally healthy, uh, so we were going to play him when they played number fifty-two, their backup. So. Number 52 played two minutes, so Kelvin played two minutes. It, we just didn't want to put him out there on where we would have to guard Doolittle. Um, so that, you know, that forced some other guys to do it. And I thought, you know, Denzel, DJ, um, you know, Tyshawn guarded them at, at points in the game. And then Christian spent a fair amount of time on Doolittle, and I thought they, they both did a really good job. Those two guys are hard to guard. They, they, they really are. And, and their games are very different. Um, and Reeves is hard to guard because he's, you know, he's always a threat to step into a deep three uh, like he hit late in the game. Yeah, you know, we were trying to get to him, and you know, in the post, we we ran at him some, um, and we're able to force a couple turnovers. Uh, so, I mean, we had a plan in place, and we wanted to keep it out of the post. Uh, but if it went in there, we were going to go with some help. Um, but you know, we we were sagging off some guys and plugging up some driving lanes because that's that's kind of what Oklahoma is about. They get they get a matchup they like, and they try to try to take advantage of it. And uh, we just had to bring some help, and the guys were pretty locked into that. And fortunately, the guys we helped off of didn't make shots tonight. You know, sometimes you try it, it doesn't work, and you have to adjust. And tonight, fortunately for us, it worked. We had the field goal drop, Mac, but your guys kept attacking, kept getting the foul, kept making the free throws. Is that, I mean, is that pretty hard to see that? Yeah, I mean, Oklahoma's good. So, I mean, they, they're – you know, Lon's teams are always good defensively, and they, you know, they have length across the guard court that that can be disruptive. Uh, so it's hard to get anything easy. And you know, we're trying to get Denzel like he doesn't. You know, what he has done in practice has not been at the center position, uh, but. It just ironically, the first game that he plays, like we needed him to play there to, to match up with Doolittle. So I, I think that's part of the unfamiliarity for him of what do I do, where do I go, when do I ball screen, when do I dive, when do I pop. And I just thought we got a little congested once in a while because of that. And uh, But I thought our shot selection was better the second half. I thought the first half we had a stretch there late in the half. And it's, it's going to take our guys a while because you add a guy like Denzel who's a, a good scorer, well, if he takes nine or ten shots, that's ten shots those other guys aren't getting. <laughs> so now all of a sudden the guy gets the ball and it's like I haven't shot it in a while. I'm going to go try to do something. So we just have to get used to it. we got another guy on the floor. We'll keep moving it. Everybody's going to get a few less shots. It's okay. Just keep moving and let's get good ones. So um, fortunately for us, as you said, we got to the line during that stretch and that, that was able to keep us uh, stretch that lead a little. Well, I, 
I mean, I've, I've referenced the overtime of the Texas Tech game a lot of times with you guys and with him. I mean, he was the difference. Like, he went and got rebounds in traffic above everybody else, and you saw him do the same thing uh, tonight. So uh, we just – He's a young player. He's learning. And sometimes when you're young, you don't always think about the right things. Like, just think about making plays that impact winning. Uh, I watched film with him a few days ago, and he set a great screen for Marcus uh, in the Nebraska game. And, and Marcus came off and hit a three-point shot. And I said, what do you think of that play? And he said, what do you mean, what do you think? I said, well, we got that three points because you set a great screen. But you don't even – that doesn't even resonate with you. And he said, no, nah, not really. So I'm like, you, you have to understand, like a great screen that leads to a basket is, I mean, it, it doesn't show up in the stat sheet, but it's like an assist that leads to a basket, or it's a rebound kick out that leads to a basket. Like, you have to start to understand there's more, you bring more value than just scoring the basketball. Um, so hopefully we can get him there, and it's part of the maturation process with a, with a young player. Uh, but he was, he was huge for us at the last seven or eight minutes of the game. Two more for coaches. I mean, we talk about it in practice all the time. And, you know, you've been at practice, so we went through a stretch there where we were diving on the floor pretty much every day. And I finally said, all right, we can either just do this in games and I can cut it out in practice or we'll do it in practice every day. But uh, I've got to know if I cut it out of practice, it's going to happen when the lights come on. And, and the light came on. You know, we've, we've been the first to the floor a lot. Um, and that's what it takes when you're smaller, when you're – when you're not as strong right now uh, and you're playing undersized and Christian's playing out of position and Denzel's playing out of position, you, you, you've got to win the hustle plays. And uh, especially on your home floor when you have the crowd behind it because our, that's what our crowd's about. They're hardworking people and they appreciate that kind of effort. So uh, it, it, it needs to manifest itself all the time. Well, we we have to. It's just it's it's where we are right now. And as Calvin gets back healthy, he's one of our better rebounders. But uh, you know, we we've got to block out, and then we've got a gang rebound. And and you know, Tyshawn, this is his second or third, I think, double double with rebounds. Uh, and his rebounds are way up from a year ago. So I mean, he's taken that to heart. And again, it's doing things to try to help your team win. Uh, and it's not, uh, you know, on, on a lot of teams, Tyshawn's maybe a two or three rebound a game guy. On our team, he's got to be six or seven. Um, so, you know, I, I was proud of the way we competed there for us to beat them on the backboards and, you know, and hold them to just a seven assist. You know, that they're doing things outside their offense to score. And uh, that's encouraging. Thanks, Coach. Thank you.